I mean, I might as well just try, right? Like, I'm just gonna try every single Lush face mask and we'll see what happens. So it's no secret, I love Lush, I love skincare, and I actually haven't used a lot of the Lush face masks in a hot minute, so I was like, you know what, Jacqueline, I used to love the face masks, especially when I was dealing with a lot more acne, and I was really into Lush skincare at that time, but really, ever since I got my skin to a really good spot where I'm not struggling with acne anymore, I kind of like fell out of the Lush face mask scene. So I decided, since my skincare needs have changed so much over the years, and my skin concerns are so different, I wanted to try them all again, see which ones are my favorite, and also help you guys out, because if you guys are looking for face masks, I really just want to do all the hard legwork for you and test it all out so that way you guys don't need to try a million different face masks you guys can kind of pick which one you think will work best anyways so I just got back from Lush I picked up literally every single face mask and when I say every single face mask I mean literally every single face mask that they make right now we've got a lot of skincare products and only one face Let's see how this goes. Now, normally, I feel like the rule of thumb is that you're not really supposed to introduce more than a few skincare products into your routine at a time. So really, every few weeks is when you should be trying out a new product. You really should be doing it all at once. But we're gonna break some rules today. I am gonna do this over the period of a few weeks, but always with Lush skincare and especially the Lush face mask, I feel like the next morning I would wake up and already notice results. I feel like they're pretty quick and effective. So I feel like my skin will respond pretty quickly and I should be able to tell what I'm liking, what I'm not liking and what the effects are. But really who knows how this can go. Maybe my skin will freak out and in three weeks I'll be covered with pimples or have a rash or be over exfoliated. Or maybe my skin will be extra soft and hydrated and plump and poreless and all the things that I dream of. But there's really only one way to find out. Let me walk you through the lineup. So to keep it simple, Lush pretty much has two different types of face masks. They have their fresh face masks, which means they're all made of really fresh ingredients. They're almost like a smoothie for your face. So you gotta keep these ones cold and they really only last for a few weeks. They always have the expiration date on the bottom so you can always check that. And then the other types of face masks they have are the non-refrigerated ones. Now this style of face mask also has an expiration date, but it's much closer to four months. Now if I had to put my money on any face mask that I've used for the longest time, it's the Mask of Magnum Inti. This is just such a Lush classic, so I have high hopes for this and I hope it's just as fast fabulous as I remember. There's really something about having all these face masks laid out that just really satisfies me. It looks so pretty. It also smells like the craziest thing with all of these open. I smell like peppermint and chocolate and oatmeal cookies and lemon, coffee, seaweed. It smells crazy. So I was having a hard time figuring out which one I should do first. I mean, like looking at all of those, I just want to put all of them on my face at once, which I might do at the end. But we're going to go one at a time for now. I think I should go in order of maybe like the most exfoliating to ending off on maybe a more gentler and soothing hydrating note because I feel like at the end of this, my skin will have been going through a lot of face masks, so I should probably end on the soothing notes of face masks. So let's start off with something a little more exfoliating and brightening, and something that'll really kickstart all the face masks. So for face mask number one, we're gonna go with arguably the prettiest face mask here, and that is Don't Look At Me. Now this one claims to be super refreshing, brightening, there's scrubby bits inside, so let's give it a go. And the rest of these are gonna get packed up and into the fridge, except for these two. Oh my god, guys, I just filmed all of those close-ups, and I just realized there was still one more face mask in my Lush bag. Almost lost but not forgotten catastrophe cosmetic we're gonna give her a nice little close-up because she deserves it Let's get this thing started. So I'm gonna start off with the Don't Look At Me face mask. Now this one has a ton of different ingredients inside. Mmm, smells really good. Now this is supposed to help you brighten your skin, refresh the skin. The texture of this is actually a bit gritty. There's bits of ground rice in there to act as a natural physical exfoliation. There's lemon juice in there to help brighten and refresh. There's also silken tofu, which apparently is supposed to help soften the skin. But overall, it's supposed to really just be a brightening mask. So if you're feeling a little dull, you need a little bit of refreshing. This is the way to go. I will say this smells really good. It smells super citrusy. It feels actually really nice on the skin too. I just took it out of the fridge so it's nice and cool. I can imagine in like the middle of the summer when you're super hot, you feel like you've had like sunscreen and dirt and just layers of things on your skin. I feel like this would be really refreshing. Now always when I go into Lush, they always say the rule of thumb is to make sure that you can't see any of your skin through the face mask and that means that you put like a thick enough layer on. Now I guess it kind of depends literally on the size of your face, but I feel like I normally get between like 
six to ten uses out of these and I normally like to leave the face mask on for about 15 minutes and I'm always applying to clean skin I never apply obviously if I have makeup on that's just <laughs> The biggest no-no. But freshly cleansed skin with no moisturizer on. I'm getting all around the nostrils. Okay, something like that. I do have to say, this is the most beautiful face mask. Got this everywhere. I'm gonna go wash off my hands. Okay, I'm gonna go do some housework, let this really do its magic, and I'll be back in 15. So it's definitely drying a bit. I think the key to face masks is you never wanna let it dry completely. You want it right before it's completely dry, so it's still like slightly tacky. So that way it's still kind of sticky enough to lift up any dirt or impurities, or at least that's what I've heard. So I always rinse it off right before it's completely dry. So I'm actually just taking a little bit of water and kind of like massaging it into the face mask. That way you get all the benefits of the scrub inside of this one. So I'm slowly just kind of melting away and then rinsing off. Oh, I've still got so much on. <laughs> I think I've got it all now. Oh. I have to say my skin does feel really good. Super soft. Wow, this just makes me think, why have I not used a Lush face mask in so long? It does make your skin feel like baby soft. Okay, now I'm just gonna put on my regular face moisturizer and uh, live the rest of my life. I'll wake up tomorrow and report back and see if my skin has any breakouts, if anything's changed. I'll actually show you my skin in natural light too. Okay, so immediately after, I mean, the skin doesn't look that much different. It's not red, it's not irritated, which is a good sign. I do have to say though, I feel like even on my cheekbones, you can kind of notice like a sheen a bit more as if like, not that my skin is shiny, but almost like, you know if you like buff a car and you polish it, then it's nice and shiny. I really feel like the exfoliation did kind of buff away any dead skin and make it appear a lot brighter. So it definitely was very softening to the skin. Definitely didn't add any extra moisture though. So if you are looking for moisture, wouldn't recommend that one. But yeah, I think it did a really good job at really slowing away any dead skin and keeping my skin feeling nice and refreshed. I like it, felt good. I enjoyed the whole experience, smelled good, color looked great all around, really enjoying it. Wow, guys, we're off to a good start. Hola, it is the next morning. I just woke up, I'm just about to head to the gym, but I almost forgot, but I was like, oh, my skin update. Skin looks really good, actually. I'm really happy with it. No new breakouts. If anything, my old breakouts are even less. And honestly, my skin just looks really even and nice all around. So things are good. It is a Friday today, which means I wanna relax and revive and have a very pampering Friday. So I'm gonna use a soothing, smoothing seaweed face mask. We're gonna do BB seaweed. I'm gonna grab that out of the fridge and pop it on. Mama, do you wanna do a face mask too? You gotta to do a face mask. I'm gonna give you Don't Look At Me. I really like that one, I think you'll like it. Look at us, having such a great pamper night. Okay, so you wanna know why though I think you're gonna like the Don't Look At Me face mask? You know how you really like ocean salt from Lush? This is like ocean salt, but in a face mask form. So it's really brightening, there's a bit of a scrub, it's also bright blue. And I'm doing the seaweed one, which you've definitely seen me do before, because you're like, is that seaweed on your face? And I'm like, yes it is. Seven pounds of nutrient-rich seaweed. Helps nourish the skin, look at that. I just love the texture of this one. It's like a whipped texture. Super fluffy. Oh, and again, right out of the fridge, just feels so good. Now there's actually a ton of aloe vera in this one too, so it's very, I guess soothing is just the best word to describe it. Super soothing, very nourishing. Oh, this just, I feel like, is so good for calming down the skin. Now there is a little bit of olive oil in this one too, so it does moisturize a bit, but from what I remember, this doesn't leave your skin feeling super moisturized and super soft. But I definitely deal with a lot of redness and I feel like my face gets hot and sensitive really easily. Easily, so I feel like this soothing combination, especially with the rose in there too, is really great for helping calm all that down. Mom, you gotta come face mask so we can be on the same schedule. Oh, this one just feels so good. Wait, let me make sure there's no avocado in this. My mom has an avocado allergy. No, there's no avocado in this. But knowing that, she still uses ocean salt, which definitely has avocado oil in it. Doesn't it burn you, mom? Like, do you have a reaction to it? Right. My mom does not want to talk on camera, so she will be giving a silent performance and review today. I also just like love seaweed. I love eating it. I love everything about seaweed. So of course I want it on my face. Oh no, that's in my nose. Okay, let's see how you perform. I want calm, cool, and collected skin. I'll report back. Tracy is being very precise with her application. Mom, look at that technique. This blue mask really makes your blue eyes pop. Can we get a hair tutorial on this? This looks fabulous. Girls night. Face masks have no gender, don't be alarmed. <laughs> you look gorgeous, I love it. <laughs> Mom, your eyes are so blue. Wait, can you look, not look, make a better face? <laughs> your eyes are so 
so blue. I'm going to take the recycling out with my face mask on. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's not a lot that will stop me from living my life. I go out in public with face masks on all the time. Definitely look, look at it, it's cracking. <laughs> it's ready to come off. This is not fun. <laughs> it's harder to get off. Oh, my hair is getting wet. This is a disaster. A hot cloth, hot cloth, hot cloth will save the day. I remember having a rough day, hot cloth saves me. Just a hot cloth. Ah, hot cloth. I feel pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm getting seaweed everywhere. Okay. I think I look pretty soothed. Do I look soothed? Can you touch my skin? Clean, is your hand clean? <laughs> you know that offends me so much. You gotta feel my skin, it feels really good. Okay, well do you want me to feel, touch it or no? Touch it. Yes, it's super soft. Baby soft. Baby soft. Oh, <laughs> That's some potty talk. It definitely looks better than when I started. A lot more even. My skin tone looks a lot better. And that's the thing, I get redness in my cheeks a lot and the redness. Wow, I liked it. Harder to get off, but definitely worth it. I'm gonna have a hard time narrowing down my favorites. I really like that one. Definitely was just as good as I remember. Oh, look at these cheekbones. Look at that glow. You've got like natural highlight. Okay, what do you think? Very soft. It looks good. Good? Also, your hair just looks incredible. <laughs> Like no, no makeup goddess. Skin goals. The review is we both enjoyed it. Look at, oh my god, so cute. Very soft. Did it feel good? Did you like the experience? Yeah. Yeah, no, it was really nice. Okay. Actually, I would do that again. How often do you do these? I can give that to you. You can have it. Can I? Yeah. Actually, feel how soft that is. <laughs> I think mine is softer. Oh, yours is softer than I think mine. Mine is softer. That's rude. Mm. Looks good. <laughs> that's no makeup. That's I know. Just, that's look, that's look how nice that looks, eh? Mom, you're just perfect. No, no, I'm not perfect. I mean, that's really nice. It's a nice face mask. <laughs> Whoa, she's coming for my job. It was a weekend of good decisions, bad decisions. Mm. Depends how you look at it. I find my skin is really affected on my lifestyle and what I'm eating, kind of how I'm how I'm behaving. And I've been staying up late. I was eating sugary cereals all weekend and my skin definitely reacts to it. I mean, it's not, not anything crazy. It really is so funny because I say my skin is bad and it, I mean, looks good. I know it looks good overall, but it really is so relative because back when I was like 17, I really struggled with acne and I would have looked at a video with someone who had skin like mine and would have been like, girl, you got bad skin. You don't have bad skin. Like, what are you talking about? I've got bad skin. So that always puts it into perspective. But I mean, considering how good my skin has been lately, um, it definitely does have a bit of texture. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Let me try to get close up. I don't know if you guys can see this. It almost looks like a little like heat rash. I'm getting it kind of around my nose and a little bit even on the nose as well. They're just little bumps of like texture and I can see that they're not quite pimples yet, but they could turn into them. So I'm gonna try to be preventative and I'm gonna go for a face mask that I hope will help combat the little action we got going on there. We're gonna battle it out with some tea tree, some garlic, none other than Cosmetic Warrior. Oh, total side note on anyone who's following my pickling vegetable journeys. I'm pickling some carrots and some red onion <laughs> for anyone that cares. Now, if my memory serves me right, I haven't used this face mask probably in like five years. Uh, it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good at all. It always reminded me of kitty litter. I'm gonna be honest, not not a great one to get a whiff of, or really, I mean, the thing is you're putting it on your face, so you just, you smell bad for the time that you're wearing it. But I remember it was really, really effective, especially if I had breakouts. There is a ton of tea tree inside, garlic. Those are all very anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory, can I say that right? Those are all really anti-inflammatory and antibacterial ingredients. So it's supposed to be really good for troubled skin and helping to fight any breakouts. So I'm gonna smother this all over my face. Kind of wondering, I don't know if I should be putting this all over my face or just on the affected areas. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna put it all over. Now the reason I say that this one smells like kitty litter is because there is a lot of kaolin clay in there and then mixed with the garlic. Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, interesting. This is the type of face mask that you'd be buying just for the effect. You're not buying it for your cute Instagram photo wearing this fun mask. You're not buying it to smell good. You're buying it to go to town on the skin. This is definitely a face mask that I feel like you could use as a spot treatment and not put it all over like I'm doing. But again, for research purposes, I am doing this for you guys. 
is. And I think another effect that this is supposed to have on the skin is supposed to make your skin kind of feel and your pores feel tightened and smoothed. We'll see how that goes. Actually, it doesn't smell as bad right now. I don't know if I'm just getting used to it. Now, what is interesting about this face mask is they actually did change the formula a little bit. There used to be eggs inside of this, but they recently switched it over. And I think they put like soy yogurt inside or what ingredient did they put in there? Yeah, there is soy yogurt inside. There's also silken tofu and fresh green grapes. I'm not sure if those were in there before, but they're in there now for sure. So definitely interesting. Something to note if this was your favorite face mask, the formula has changed a little bit for the better or for the worse. I don't know. We will see. Oh no, I definitely reek right now. I smell like garlic. <laughs> there's no questioning that. Oh wait, there's aquafaba in here. That's probably what replaced the eggs. Do you guys know what aquafaba is? <laughs> It's my favorite thing to say. So aquafaba is basically, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure it's, you know the liquid when you're opening a can of chickpeas and like that weird kind of slime liquid that the beans are in? That liquid then whipped turns into kind of like an egg white meringue kind of foam and that's what aquafaba is. So it's very similar to eggs and it's often used as like an egg replacement in vegan cooking. So I'm guessing they use the aquafaba is it aqua, aquafaba? Aqua, aquafaba? Aquafaba. So I'm guessing they use the aquafaba to replace that egg. I got chickpea water on my face right now. I'll be back in 15. We are ready to rinse off. Okay, I also wanna take this opportunity to share with you guys how to rinse off your face mask. This might sound a little, you know, ridiculous, but there is a technique, I swear. Number one, get a towel that you don't mind that could potentially get stained and put this on the border of your sink. The number one problem that I see people doing, and friends included, when they come over to my house, I watch them rinse off their face mask and they make such a huge mess and it just really, it's so easy to be avoided. Number one tip is you wanna stick your head as low into the sink as possible. Now elbows always stay on the edge of the sink. They never leave the sink. That's when you drip. You gotta keep them down there so that way if anything drips, it catches on the towel. Then you just stick your head in the sink, slowly add water, melt it off your skin. And then if there's any face mask left off at the end, you just take the cloth, take a bit of it, run it under hot water, and wipe away any excess. Now, when done correctly, there should be no drips all over your sink. They shouldn't be down your body, splashed everywhere. It should be nice and contained. The face mask should be off your face, and we should be chilling. You know? The point of a face mask is to do some self-care and to pamper, not to create more of a mess for you to clean up. So people, that is the very informal, but very important Jacqueline technique of washing off a face mask. This now the next day, I just woke up and I'm looking at my skin and honestly, it looks pretty good. The bumps, like the, the bumps from yesterday are still there. They're definitely a bit flattened though. So it definitely didn't make my skin worse. I think if anything, it seems to be on the rise and getting better. So that's a good thing. If I can slow down, stop, or undo a breakout, um, that is definitely the one to go for. I think the final verdict on that face mask is very similar to the Buckley's medicine slogan, except this one smells awful, but it works. Okay, we're making some vegan banana bread. Oh wow, this looks absolutely stunning. You know that banana bread is like one of my favorite foods for sure. I just get that for you. That chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought it'd be very fitting if we also did, where did I put my, this is Tori's fridge. I also want to make this clear. People are gonna be like, why do you have eggs in your fridge? I'm not vegan, y'all. I thought it'd be very fitting if I brought over the Oda Fix face mask because this face mask is literally banana bread for your face. Guys, I'm sorry, is that not the exact same texture as our banana bread? Look at this face mask. It's like basically the same thing. It smells the same. It's banana bread for your face. Eat it. <laughs> Let's just eat this instead, it's fine. She's going in. Oh my God, it looks so good. Quick, quick. Oh, it's gonna break. Get, no, no, get another, break. get another plate. Here, get another here, plate here, on here, top. Here. Look at us problem solving. Save the bananas. And then quick flip. Go, go, go. Oh, there she is. Just <laughs> drops it on the ground. That looks beautiful. It's gonna taste so good. Okay, so the banana bread last night that we made was chef's kiss. Absolutely incredible. But we were so distracted by the evening and the banana bread that we literally just did not get to the face mask. But it's the next night and I'm still, you know, in the banana bread mood. I have some leftovers. So I'm gonna do some Odafix. Odafix is just oh, so good. I have very sensitive skin and there's tons of oats inside of this face mask. So it's really good to help soothe the skin. There's also mashed bananas, which is really good for softening. So your skin feels just so supple and moisturized and softened after this mask. And that's really just exactly what I want right now. So I'm gonna grab that from the fridge and apply it on. The 
this one just smells so, so lovely. Now the texture of this one is thick. <laughs> she thick, double C, you know what I'm saying? Um, it feels like I mean, I guess banana bread dough is actually exactly what it feels like. It's definitely the thickest face mask that Lush has. But it's really nice because it really is just like a mush and there's not like any chunky granular bits inside. It's just like a, a nice banana bread paste. And the thing that always was so annoying to me back in the day about this was I love the effect of this face mask. I love the smell of this face mask. This was, and I think still might be my favorite face mask from Lush but it is the least glamorous looking face mask ever because it looks kind of like baby food vomit when it's on the face, but it smells so good that, you know what, I'm not mad and it makes my skin feel so delicious and soft and just incredible. My friends are really missing out. Okay, I'm curious what this would taste like. It is vegan. Mm, no, definitely don't wanna eat it though. I'll stick to the actual banana bread. I am currently doing a banana oatmeal face mask and I'm eating banana bread. So it feels a little wrong? Or maybe it's just right. Also, I guess this is a perfect time to segue. If you wanna see what I eat in a day and see what else I ate, including this banana bread, I'll leave the video link up above so you can go watch that. Okay, 15 minutes is up. We're looking good. Yeah, it definitely looks like baby vomit, but it smells so cinnamony, vanilla -y deliciousness that I'm not I'm not upset about it. I'm gonna go rinse this off, I'll be right back. Unsurprisingly, so obsessed with it. It leaves your skin almost with like a balmy feeling. And I think that's really due to all the butters inside and the glycerin, but I love the feeling. I love the feeling of really balmy and like moisturizing face products, so I love the way that it makes my skin feel afterwards. Definitely though, if you have maybe more oily skin or you don't like the feeling of like, I don't wanna say residue, cause that's not a very <laughs> glamorous word, but if you don't like the feeling of a residue on your skin afterwards, then you probably wouldn't like that face mask. But for me, this is like made for me. It has my name written all over it. I love the way that my skin looks. I feel like it looks dewy and hydrated and just like healthy. This is definitely the perfect mask for any like harsh winter days where my skin just needs some love. Any times when it's just like really sensitive and needs to be soothed. It might not be like my go-to mask mid, you know, a hot summer or something like that, but there really is something so delicious and pampering and just, Oh, I feel good with that one on. Wow, today was the first day that I've worn makeup in a really long time, and I feel like I can always tell if my skin is doing well when I'm putting on foundation, which may sound counterproductive, but I feel like my foundation in my skin looks so much better when I have makeup on because the texture is really smooth and it's really hydrated. So yeah, the skin with makeup on is looking really, really good. I'm really happy with it. But that being said, I've been in this makeup all day and it's been like a really, really long day. I'm super tired. I wanna take off my makeup and get a face mask that's gonna be really reviving, revitalizing, and kind of make me feel like I don't have gunk all over my face. Even though I'm putting face mask gunk on my face, I just don't want it to be like makeup gunk. You know, there are two different types of stuff. <laughs> I think I'm overtired. I've been stuck in my house for so long. I'm slowly losing my mind. <laughs> So this is Brazen Honey. Apparently this is supposed to really help decongest your skin. So I figured after a busy day of makeup wearing that this would be perfect. And now I'm pretty sure out of all of the face masks from Lush, this is actually one of the only ones that I've never tried before. So this will be a live first impression as well. So since I was new to this face mask, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to the Lush website, read what the intended effects are. And here's what it says. Slap this on to revive sluggish or congested skin. It's a deeply cleansing mask full of herbs and spices. There's ginger, fennel, cardamom, turmeric, lots of good stuff. And this one actually does have a bit of like an almond kind of like grit to it. So there is a little bit of a physical exfoliation in this one as well. Now I normally take pride in my face mask application, but you can tell I'm exhausted. I'm just, I'm making a mess of it. I think that's pretty much my entire face covered. Ooh, you know what? I actually feel like a little bit of stimulation, especially around like the cracks of my nose. My nose was actually like a bit dry. So it feels like a bit tingly. I don't know if that's just like the clay there or if that's all those warming spices they were talking about, but 
definitely feeling feeling a little bit of action. I'll report back soon. Morning, morning. It's the next day. Just woke up. Skin is looking fairly good. I feel like my skin might be getting a little overworked. Like I feel like my cheeks are looking a bit red. Last night, the face mask definitely was a bit more stimulating than any of the other ones that I had used prior. Like I said, I could kind of feel it kind of not like tingling. Tingling isn't the right word, but just kind of something was happening around my nose. You know what I'm saying? So I think if you are someone that does have more sensitive skin, I'm not sure if it would be your favorite. It is more of like kind of a deep cleansing and stimulating face mask. But what I did really like about it was the actual exfoliation in it. My skin just felt so incredible when I touched it. It's just so, so soft. But that I think was more due, yeah, to the exfoliation than the actual like ingredients inside the mask. So yeah, I think it definitely did its job. I just don't know if I'm the best candidate to use that face mask. literally sweating right now from practicing a TikTok dance so many times. <laughs> what has my life become? Anyways, a new day, a new face mask. We've got rosy cheeks here. Now this one is a face mask that I really haven't tried a lot. I might have tried it once, but I have no memory of my opinion of it. So um, this one here, it has a lot of rose inside. It also has a ton of calamine. So it's supposed to be really good to help soothe and calm down the most sensitive skin. I'm pretty sure though, if I remember correctly, that the effect of this is much more of a mattified and calm kind of feeling skin versus like a super dewy and hydrating mask. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, this is gonna be really nice considering how much I am sweating right now. And the texture of this one is completely smooth. There's no grit or exfoliation inside. Now there's definitely a ton of clay in this one. You can feel it. It's like a thick clay mask. Oh, I've got okay, putting on way too much right now. Now I feel like I almost exclusively save my face mask for nighttime, but who doesn't love a little morning mask? You know what I'm saying? Okay, oh. This actually feels really good. This one smells absolutely lovely. If you like the smell of rose water or anything like that, it smells like a fresh bouquet of roses. Calamine powder, isn't that really good if you have like an itch or like a rash? I oh, know I can't get that TikTok song out of my head. Major respect to all of the TikTok dancers out there. I cannot keep up, I'm absolutely winded right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I just got out of the shower. My skin feels pretty good overall. Honestly, I think I was just so sweaty that having like a cold face mask on was really just like soothing um, beyond just like the effects of the ingredients. So I don't know. I mean, I can't really tell immediately if it's really done anything different for my skin. It did feel really nice when it was on. I will say it's so annoying how reactive my skin is though because I have a few breakouts right now. Last night, I had a really specific craving for like really salty kettle corn potato chips and I'm not normally a chip kind of gal, but I was like, you know what? I'm a... I'm gonna indulge. And then immediately I've woken up to like little white heads, little pimples all over my face. So super annoying, but just a good reminder that your skin is also in response to what you're putting inside of your body. I feel like my skin is more reactive to what I eat versus what I'm putting topically on my skin, which is kind of frustrating, but also I guess makes sense. Anyways, overall thoughts, really nice face mask, pretty simple. I don't think you're gonna see crazy, crazy dramatic results with that one. It's just more of like a very nice, soothing, experiential face mask. But I guess if you do have really super sensitive skin or if you had a rash on your skin maybe that could be something worth looking into but I think it was just like yeah it was nice but like forgettable you know what I mean Okay, next up we've got Tash Free Cosmetic Face Mask. This is the blueberry face mask that I forgot to film on the intro. <laughs> now I feel like this is actually a really popular one at Lush. Although I've never really been someone to gravitate towards it. I don't really think it's necessarily perfect for my skin type, but basically this is supposed to be a very balancing face mask. It's really antioxidant rich because it has a bunch of fresh blueberries in there. It smells really nice though. So this one has more of like a thick kind of mattifying texture because there's a ton of calamine powder in there. So it's gonna be, again, really good for calming the skin. But I think the main purpose of this face mask is really to help kind of balance it out if there's congestion, if there's any issues or troubles. It's just like an overall declogging, smoothing, balancing, make your skin better kind of face mask. Now I think this face mask is intended to be more of a preventative face mask versus like a reactive face mask. Like I might go ahead and use Catastrophe Cosmetic, the garlic face mask when I have breakouts. This one's supposed to help prevent any breakouts. Now I'm finding actually the application of this one like kind of hard since it's so, feels like cornstarchy almost. I think it's all that calamine powder though, but it kind of makes it harder to actually like apply and like smush onto your face. Mm, the smell of this is really nice though. Since it is so like powdery and almost crumbly, I think if you had oily skin, you might like the feeling of this. If you're someone with dry skin, I don't know if you'll enjoy the feeling that much. The smell of this, the, 
Ah, oh, it's kind of crumbling off and making a mess. The smell of this mask actually really reminds me of Sultana Soap from Lush, which is one of my favorite soaps of all time. It's just kind of like lightly fruity, but not in like an overly sickening candy sweet kind of way. Okay, I think this is as good as I'm gonna get the application. It's super hard to not get it patchy and to get it even, just because it's so like crumbly and, and weird. I can't even like explain the texture. It's like just like powdery. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna like crumble off as it dries. Okay, rinsed it off. That was definitely a face mask that got very like crackly and like, you know when a mud mask gets dry and kind of flakes off? That's exactly what that one did. So definitely a little messy. Be careful, I had little like crumbs of the face mask everywhere. Overall, my skin feels pretty nice. It's definitely very mattified feeling. Like there's no, there's no oils on my skin right now. I haven't even put moisturizer on. I would say that it is fairly calming, but again, I think for my skin type, it's not necessarily what I'm looking for. And yes, confirmed, if you have very dry skin, I do not think you will like this face mask. It's just, leaves your skin with, with nothing, you know? Okay, it is a Wednesday night. I just finished watching Survivor, having a great time, but you know what time it is now. Face mask time, that's right. Well, interestingly enough, we have made it to the final fresh face mask. We've got Cupcake left. Now, Cupcake is a face mask that really reminds me of actually when I first got into Lush and when I was like 12, 13 and discovering all these products. I feel like Cupcake is what a lot of people are naturally gravitated towards as a face mask because, well, one, it's called Cupcake. Two, it smells like chocolate. And three, I feel like Lush kind of markets that face mask as the perfect face mask for teenage troubled skin. And let's be real, whenever we're having breakouts, if you're a teenager, you want to try a face mask, that's like the thing. So let's go get some cupcake. Mm. It's actually such a refreshing smell because it's chocolatey. It smells like brownie batter, but then also with like a spearmint or peppermint inside. Kind of like a mint chocolate chip kind of vibe. And it literally looks like thick brownie batter. Now this is another face mask that has a ton of clay inside. I believe the clay is called Rasool clay in this one. But again, it's supposed to be really good for drawing out impurities. So if you do have more of the troubled skin or something that needs a little bit of, you know, declogging and decongesting. Now this face mask is definitely more of a matte. Oh. Now this face mask is definitely more on the mattifying side, but it's also really cooling because it does have, I think, it, is it peppermint or is it spearmint? Oh, peppermint and spearmint. So it's definitely very refreshing on the skin. Actually, I'm curious, are you guys more of a nighttime or a daytime face masker? I feel like I normally would lean towards a nighttime face mask, but maybe on like a self-care Sunday or on like a slow, lazy afternoon, I might do one. But typically, I like to add it into like my nighttime routine. So obviously, I've been filming this video over a couple of weeks so far, and considering how many different types of face masks and skincare products I've been introducing to my skin, it's been doing pretty good overall. So that is definitely, I mean, a good sign. Okay. Yeah, there really is just something about this face mask. I think right now my skin type and my skin's needs aren't, you know, the best suited for cupcake, but there is just something about the experience of it. Maybe it's just really nostalgic for me and reminds me of debatably when I was in my prime, but there really is something that I like about this face mask. Wow, so okay, really impressed with that one actually, especially now that I get to kind of compare them more back to back and closer together. It really lets me see what I like and don't like about the face masks. So I was expecting my skin to feel a lot more dry and mattified in a bad way, but it wasn't nearly as mattifying as some of the other face masks that I've tried. My skin feels really good right now. It's really like cooling feeling. Like it's still, I can feel that peppermint oil and spearmint oil. It feels really refreshed. And yeah, you know, I actually really enjoyed that. I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I think my skin looks pretty good. Hopefully keeps looking this way. We're going to go in with a little bit of Mask Magna Minty. This one has a ton of little scrubby adzuki beans inside, so there definitely is a bit of physical exfoliation. And there is a ton of peppermint oil in here, so it's a very stimulating, like, Invigorating. Is invigorating a word? I feel like that's a word I see in skincare commercials. <laughs> Anyways, it is that. And I remember I used to like this one, especially when I had a bit more problematic and um, skin that needed some declogging. There she is. Time to deep cleanse. I look like Shrek right now. 
Oh, my face is looking red and splotchy on camera, but it feels really good. I actually had a pimple um, in my eyebrow hair and I feel like the mask kind of like softened up my skin. It was one of those like white heads that was ready to kind of get popped. I don't really pick up my face or like pop many pimples except when it's like a white head, you know, like at the surface. I just feel like that mask really kind of got it ready and it like... <laughs> Popped with ease. I know that's a little TMI, but you know what? I'm feeling felt good to get rid of that pimple It was not wanted. Anyways, my skin is actually feeling really good despite looking quite splotchy I find actually the self-preserving formula of the mask of Megan tea a lot more soothing I feel like there's a lot more honey in that formula So it's a bit gentler on the skin versus the original formula which can be a bit more um, Like clay based and it dries out and cracks a bit more which I think if you have oily skin You might prefer that version But if your skin is a bit more sensitive or you want something that's a bit more softening and like locks in a bit more moisture, I would pick the self-preserving formula. But yeah, overall, a very nostalgic mask. I like it, I think it does its job, and I like the overall experience of using that mask. So I don't know how, but we have made it to the final face mask. I've got a cup of coffee here, and I'm excited about this one. I intentionally saved it for a morning because it's full of tons of fresh coffee, and I figured it would be a really nice, like, wake me up, kickstart your day, do a coffee face mask. Who needs to drink actual coffee? Oh when you've got it all over your face. And this smell is straight up like a giant coffee shop. Now this one definitely is more of a deep cleansing face mask and I think this might be my favorite non-fresh face mask like between the mask of Magnum and Tea from what I remember. But let's put it on and see. Now there's actually a ton of little coffee grounds inside which is supposed to be really good to help scrub away any dry skin. And Lush actually recommends that these face masks can be used on the body and the face as well. So sometimes like the back of my arms will get little bumps so I'll put it on there or like even on my legs and then I'll just like stand in the shower with the face mask on and then kind of scrub it all off. So there's definitely a ton of different ways that you can use these masks. Now this is definitely a very strong face mask, both one in aroma, like it smells straight up like the most intense coffee smell ever. So if you hate the smell of coffee, you're gonna absolutely hate this. But if you love the smell of coffee like I do, then that is a huge plus. But from what I remember, it's also pretty strong in effect. I mean, you've got like a very nice scrubby face mask, so it's gonna leave your skin feeling very smooth and looking very refreshed. But it's also got a ton of that Kaolin clay inside as well, so it's supposed to be really good to help kind of deep cleanse the skin. Again, if you have any, you know, impurities in your pores, or you feel like you're breaking out, I just kind of feel like this is an all-in-one face mask that kind of covers all of my favorite things about each individual mask, but in one mask. There's also vanilla inside of this, which I think is normally a common ingredient, but beyond it just smelling like coffee, it's like a vanilla latte, so even better. I'm kind of sad that this is the final face mask. It's been a long month and a half of testing these all out. I can't believe we finally made it through. I'm happy that my skin seems to be surviving and handling it well. I'm happy that I got to try them all back to back and now I can properly rate them and share my favorites and have a direct comparison. This truly has just been so fun and now I'm, I'm sad that it's all over. Is it wrong if I go put on a pot of coffee now? Now I'm in the mood. Wow, truly incredible. I love that face mask, my skin feels so good and so soft. It's very softening and just overall, I love it, I really do. Okay, it is now officially the end. I have tried every single Lush face mask that Lush makes and I have to say, my skin is feeling pretty good. Now there definitely was a lot of information, a lot of testing, a lot of product knowledge, you know, all those things, but I wanna share with you guys my key takeaways. Number one, I really forgot about how amazing Lush face masks are. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna comment say that this is a sponsored video. This is not sponsored by Lush, but I genuinely, I, I did forget how much I liked a lot of their face products. Two, I'm really happy that my skin didn't absolutely freak out and there's not one face mask that I hated and that I thought was completely awful and was gonna do bad things for my skin. There definitely were masks that I don't think were right for my skin, but even so, the worst face mask still wasn't bad for my skin. So with all that being said, let's go through the actual lineup, the final ranking, my overall thoughts for my skin type, if I had to put them all in order, this is what it would be. Okay, rating in at number one, no surprise to me, that is Odafix. Odafix is just the best, I love it. Number two is Cup of Coffee. Next up is Don't Look At Me. Next one is BB Seaweed. Mask of Magnuminty, Cosmetic Warrior, Cupcake, Rosy Cheeks, 
Tash Free Cosmetic, and then Brazen Honey. I kind of feel like the last two were tied for my least favorite. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if it was helpful, and if you end up trying out any face masks, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, because I would love to hear how it works for you and your skin type. Now, that being said, I am stuck with, these aren't even all of them, there's still more in my bathroom. I have a lot of face masks, and originally my plan was I was gonna, you know, invite a lot of friends over, do a bunch of face masks at my house, and unfortunately, we're all under quarantine, and we're in an intense lockdown here in Canada, so I think I'm just gonna face mask my entire body and just cover myself in face masks. You know, just really pamper every inch of my skin. So we'll see, they'll definitely be put to use, they're not gonna be wasted. But I definitely did not anticipate using rosy cheeks on my literal butt cheeks, but we might just have to try it out, you know? Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. And follow, comment, like, do all the things. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching, bye!